Yeah, it's beautiful. The trajectory of it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. The trajectory of it, or whatever you want to call that word, um, it's morning time. But I also say, you know, you can't get lost in relationships. True. Because, cause, and, I, and I'm not saying, for me, I'm just saying, because sometimes I used to look at different couples and be like, yeah, but then that was just surface level. Right, right. It was it was like they was doing it for public image. Like it they wasn't really up. they wasn't really happy. <laughs> but that's just that's just from what I noticed, like with the people I know. And I was like, I never wanna be that person. Right. I never wanna be I never wanna kill myself or be dying on the inside to make it look good for the public. Like if I gotta drive like like if I gotta drive a Volkswagen, I'm mm -hmm. never gonna go get a Rolls Royce and make it look good. But I'm driving a fucking but but I'm I'm dying trying to pay the bill or pay the note or pay the maintenance and all that shit. I would rather just drive the Volkswagen. Right. It's reliable, it's dependable. You know, that's just me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just I just I just had to I ask myself every day, like, am I living in my truth? Every day. That's my favorite thing to ask myself. That's a good thing to ask yourself. A lot of people don't ask themselves that. Yeah, like when I go to the gym, I'll be like, dude, like, is my body, does my body need rest? Or, uh, cause, I, cause I, I'm, I'm big on being hard on myself. Yeah. Like, like we and beat you, ourselves up every day. True. And cause I'm a gym fanatic. I go four days out the week. So you got to really listen to your body. You got to listen yes, to your man. body. Got to listen to your body. That's like people talking about no pain, no gain. Your body not supposed to be in pain. Who the fuck want to walk around hurting yeah. all the time? You first start your journey, you do get that pain because your body's not used to it. Soreness, muscle soreness. Yes. When you okay, first that's, start di that's different. But I'm journey. talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Pain. I'm not muscle oh. soreness is different. <laughs> You're right. But I drink beet juice, so I don't really have muscle soreness. I put beet powder. I I don't like beet juice. I do the powder. I put it in my smoothies. Hey. Stop trying to be like me. You get that's the one I got too. <laughs> yes. Stop trying to be my um my matcha powder, of course. And then I take yeah, my the matcha. You know, you gotta take these. Gotta be on that. And if you're not, that's when all that stuff that people say is gonna bother you. But when you're in tune with yourself, you're into Yeah, she control she control the night. She control the nighttime. I control the daytime. Well we switch. That's I used good. to govern I used to govern the night. Mm-hmm. But ever since the uh the reset, the, um, I might be saying too much. <laughs> ever since the one of solstice. Gotcha. When I stood in front there and took the solar flares, you know, the, mm -hmm. the days that we wasn't supposed to, but you wasn't supposed to be outside. When I right. stood and took them solar flares in my chest, mm -hmm. you know, we couldn't have any 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 dense energy in our body, so we couldn't eat meat or nothing like that. Right. Because the, those solar flares were so heavy. It's UV lights are the ultraviolet lights that you can't see with your eyes. Right. The solar flares. And I might be saying too much, but that's what that's what allowed us godhood and goddesshood. Yes. Well, it's you guys the, are the great. The, yeah, she governed. She governed oh, the night. I couples and stuff. I'd be like, no, this is one of my favorite couples. You <laughs> and wifey, because. Y'all are on point, and y'all, and I, and I like the fact that you even were brave enough and strong enough to step away from the industry and get your mental health and get your shit, you know, right. You know what I'm saying? Cause our program fucked up. Yeah. Niggas but, be fucked but up. But it takes the real one to actually. But see, I had that, I had that admit to myself, man. I'm fucked up, like, like somebody to come in a room and I look at them, cry. you know what I'm saying? We just fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like a nigga was laughing just now, and I was like, "What? Oh my God, a nigger!" And I was like, "No, they supposed to be like that." You watch TV; all we do is kill each other all day. That's, That's how we do. That's true. That's true. Everybody was like, "No, I don't care what you say about me. I'm gonna tell the truth." The truth hurts always. Shit, when I had to really look <laughs> myself in the mirror, that's the worst truth. It is, but and it's the best truth. A lot of people are scared to do that. It's very hard to do that. So yeah, very you gotta hard. look at yourself in that mirror and be like, 
See, a lot of niggas don't want to get in that mirror and say, you know what? I'm really pussy. You got to tell yourself that. You got to look at your flaws. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like, it's like I go put myself in a, I go put myself in a violent situation, mm -hmm. but I won't step outside my comfort zone and do something that's productive or beneficial to myself that's going to make me better. Right. That is true. Hold on, man. Like, Kevin, no, nah, you pussy. Because you, Kevin, you really pussy because you would do all this gangster shit, but you won't get outside of your comfort zone and do something that's going to make you better. And that's the most gangster shit you could do. Right. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, yeah, but. And I just had to tell myself the truth. Yeah. Yeah. But when you did, did you see how much blessings came your way? Yeah, I cried a lot, too, because I was like, I had to tell myself, like, I'm so sorry. Like, I apologize. Like, I'll never do this to you again. But seriously, I'll never, I'll never, do, this, I'll never oh. do this to you again. And it's just like after I got over the, the, the tears and, uh, you know, I, the forgiveness part, I forgave myself. And then now I'm proud of myself. Like, yesterday, I was in the gym. I was a whole body. I was a mood in that bitch yesterday. <laughs> I was jumping rope. I was That's doing it. abs. I went outside by the pool area. I got to doing yoga. Uh-oh, okay. Man, them people love me in that bitch. Yeah. I do yoga every, every week, too, because they say yoga helps with flexibility, stretching, all of that. Oh, look, you got your mat. <laughs> I do yoga every day. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really <laughs> flexible. Continue to bless me with your energy. Your energy is beautiful. Your wife's energy is beautiful. And continue to bless people with that. Yeah, continue to be a lover. Don't let sure. nothing stop you. Now That's whatever right. come, we're gonna deal with it how it come, but we're gonna continue to be continue to be a lover. Always. Don't let nobody don't let them don't let them break your spirit. Keep your sway going. Right. Well don't when let you them come break to, your spirit. You come to Atlanta, you we gotta work out. Me in Atlanta? Atlanta? You in Atlanta? Yeah. I'm in Houston right now. Yeah. I just left we Atlanta. Gotta, we gotta work out. Definitely we gotta work oh, out. Hey. Hey, say, bro, hey, say, bro, stop laughing at me, bro. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> stop. How <laughs> Michael Jackson say, I just seen Michael Jackson yesterday. Oh, my bad. I'm saying too much. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> I'm drunk. Look. <laughs> But yeah, we definitely gotta get a workout in. Workout. I like to do weights. I'm. A, I'm. A, I like weights. I fuck with weights a little bit, but I done gotten into them isometric. I done gotten into them isometric. You, the way you build, you don't do weights like that. I swear, I do calisthenics. I do pull ups and dips. Okay. That's why my shoulders so broad because I do a lot of pull ups. Well, what do you do for the lower body? Because a lot of men, you know, they don't do the lower body. They always focus on the upper body. Well, your core and your legs is your most important. Your legs is your foundation. Right. But a lot of guys will like martini glasses. They're not, they're not, uh, <laughs> I'm just, like, I ain't trying to be uh, funny. <laughs> they not, they not fundamentally sound because to experience true godhood, like you have to, it has to be metaphysical. You have to be a hundred percent complete. Okay. Your core is your energy center. Your legs that's is your foundation, and that's what give you the strength for your upper body. That's what make your upper body stronger. I yeah. couldn't do one pull up when I first started. Now I just get up there, and I noticed it was so crazy. My partner, he was like, "Just get up there and hang, just hang." Yep. And I started doing, it and I listened to like half of a song, then a the whole song, now two songs, and I it was an isometric hold. And then I on the dip bar, I couldn't really do dips. You know, I just used to hold, but he was telling me, and I started studying it. What it does is it strengthens the joints. See, a yeah. lot of people get under heavy weights, but their joints fucked up. Yeah, and they you didn't train the joint. 
they injure themselves badly too. Yeah. And I yeah. and when I do lift weights, light, lightweight. Nothing heavy. Really? See, I, I I do heavy. I work myself up to heavy, but now I'm, I do burpee pull ups now. I had to work myself up to that. Oof. Yeah, light. Nothing, nothing, nothing heavy, light. And then I like a lot of cardio. I'm into that. Like I like, but then you got yep. motherfuckers talking about man, stay away from. That's the devil. I guess I am the devil then. Fuck it. Right, like, like the, the, we are we are created through chaos anyway. You know? I'm the devil. Fuck it, me, bro. Yeah, you know I got the, you know I got the, I got them chief my league braids in my head right now. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I got them Jeff Ford <laughs> braids in my head. Yeah. Hey, we just get started. Hey, yeah. it's gonna be all the way down our back, dog. Yeah, without question. I right, believe. Yeah, yeah I will listen, bro. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful brother. He he got weird wisdom, wisdom and knowledge. It just it flows from him. Let you do my hair. Nah, I can't let you do my hair right now, beloved, because I'm, you know, you know, as I'm coming through, I, you know, I got to come through with my, with my braids, like I'm, you know, I got to come through with my little braids and, you know, my, like this, like I'm Chief league, like I'm Jeff Ford, big old Muslim up in rank, and I'm like Jeff Ford, so I got to come through with this, just like this, like how would he just come through there and just, you know, yeah. I just that's how I gotta move. You know, peaceful and humble at all costs. You know, Salam alaikum. Are you well? Yeah, yes sir. I dab dead in your shit right now. But yes sir, humble, peaceful. But I dab dead in your shit. <laughs> yes sir. <laughs> I dab in your face. <laughs> I was talking to my lawyer. My lawyer was like, hey. If Kevin, you're a fucking gangster. Everybody knows you're a gangster. What do they expect? I said, God damn, man. I just can't just can't catch a break. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't let different energies in my head. That's all. What do you say? No violence. Hey, sir, with all due respect. What Russia and uh what, what, what Russia doing right now? What Putin doing right now? What Putin doing? And he told you, hey, if you get in my business, all right. And, yeah, all right. <laughs> I love life. Yeah, it ain't no violence, man. Don't get your mind. Hey, sir, hey, with all due respect, ain't going to be no killing without no killing, sir. With all due respect. With all due respect. I ain't gonna be no killing without no killing. With all due respect. <laughs> Putin cooling the people for Man, I don't care what y'all say, man. That boy over there. The thugging. You got to see, I see, I, I respect a man that's going to stand on what he believes in. I respect men like that. They stand on it. You know, I love Donald Trump, but that's just another story. I don't even want to get off into that. I, I, I love him. He talked that shit. I love him. When Trump was in office, we, we wasn't wearing no mask. Trump ain't never wear no mask. I think we did have to wear a mask coming when he was leaving out of office. I forgot. Number but niggas, we need fighting. What the fuck? But this time when Trump come back, he gonna get two terms, you heard me? We gonna be done. Yeah. Bitches back up. We got right now to go on because America ran like a jail. We gonna wait on this ward and shit for to just get get out of get off out the off the compound. You heard me. We gonna get our new warden. 
that's with the activity. Yeah. We're gonna get our new warden. 